Seventh part of the serve is to swing from your racket drop to your contact point. From the trophy pose, the racket has dropped down behind your back and you fully pushed off your legs. And from here, you have to swing up on edge towards your contact point. Now it's critical you swing up on edge like this, like you're hammering a nail into a wall and not with your strings open like this. You have to have your racket on edge. Now as the racket swings up on edge, the racket and your arm are going to form an L shape. Also, as you swing up on edge, your body rotates back towards the net. Goes from sideways to back towards the net. Now, right before your contact point, once the racket swings up on edge, you're going to rotate your strings back towards the net. You're going to open the face back to the tennis ball, and this is called pronation. It's very similar to giving somebody a high five. So as you swing up on edge, right before your contact point, give the tennis ball a high five. And if we watch it from the trophy pose, this is what it looks like together. Racket drops, push off, swing up on edge, high five the tennis ball. From the racket drop, I swing up on edge towards the tennis ball, and my racket and my arm form the L I had talked about as I swing up at the ball. Now, from the back angle, again, I'm in the racket drop. As I swing up at the ball, my racket's on edge, and I'm rotating my body back towards the net. Now, right before I hit the ball, it looks like I'm going to hit the ball at the side of my racket. But in the next frame, I've opened my strings up. I've given the tennis ball a high five, and I'm hitting the ball with my strings. So pronating your wrist is a very fast motion. If we go back, again, this is right before contact. The racket's on edge, and now in the next frame, I'm hitting the ball with my strings. And now let's take a look again from the racket drop. The whole motion, I swing up on edge, rotate my body back towards the net, and then at the last second, I pronate my wrist and make contact with the tennis ball with the strings of my racket. This is Murat Safin in his racket drop. As he swings up at the tennis ball, he swings up on edge, and his racket and his arm form an L. Now right before he makes contact with the tennis ball, He's going to pronate his wrist. He's going to give the tennis ball a high five. And if we take a look at him at contact from the front, it's clear that he's pronated his wrist right before he hit the ball. Now let's take a look at him in his racket drop from behind. He swings up on edge at the tennis ball. And then this is him right after contact. He's clearly pronated. Also, let's go back to him in the racket drop. His body's sideways, but then as he swings up at the ball, he rotates his upper body back towards the net. So again, if we watch it one more time, he's sideways in the racket drop, and then through contact, his body has begun to rotate back around.